What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Another 2023 Panini Dollars football hobby just sold out. This is a six box break, PYT number two. Again, the second six box break from the case. And here we go, guys. Oh my god, last spot mojo rate us here. Um, I don't know if this is live. It's probably from earlier. No, but he's like actually at the studio. Yeah, so Pat Ivy usually goes to the to, on the weekends he does college game day and, and goes um, to the campuses or to like this week bowl game. So then he actually has to take over his Oh yeah, main, he goes into the studio. Yeah, he goes into the studio. And there's times where the whole crew goes to the whole uh college campus too. All right, so one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. You see when his eye got messed up by his son? Wait, what? Yeah, <laughs> I'll tell you where. <laughs> five, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I think it was like, what, three weeks ago or so? Came, he, I guess, the night before he texted, Pat Agnew saying like, bro, I, I had a serious injury with my eye. I'll explain a little bit more, but like one of his kids, first of all, his kid's name's Axel. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Right? He probably named it after Axel Rose. And, um... He comes Jordan in, he has like an eye patch, right? Apple. Yeah, he has like an eye patch. Oh, and no. I guess his little kid poked his eye. How old and like, you? I think he was like the youngest one. I don't know, like maybe six or seven. But like, I guess it went so far into like his, it, it like oh. ruptured parts of his cornea. Like it was oh really bad. God. Like where they said he might be blind. And yeah, he was just saying how much pain he had and like how he had to like suffer. But he finally went to the ER for like the hospital. And yeah, they had to do like this little procedure on him to save his eye. But now he says that it's getting better, but like, save his eye. yeah, like literally it was that bad. Like, and they just all like, it was so funny. The second one was hilarious because they're all looking at what the corny is and like, you know, <laughs> how bad it is. <laughs> and like, you know, it's like he literally wow. almost poked his eye out. Would he wear, I wonder if he would wear a pirate patch the rest of his life. <laughs> well, that's what they were saying. He's all like, he goes, I don't know. I'm gonna wear this eye patch for now, but they're just like, yeah, AJ Hawk with eye patch for the rest of his life. But it was so funny. Like a couple weeks ago, oh, it was like maybe right before Thanksgiving or a week before that. His eye looks much better now. Yeah. He was just like, yeah, you guys want to see this like oozing? And he's like, no, oh, I don't see it. <laughs> like, no, I don't see it. It was so funny. They're like, what a name, Axel Hawk. Axel <laughs> <is> Hawk. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't go with like a like a AJ or a DJ. Or yeah. CJ. I actually wonder what his what AJ stands for for him. I actually don't even know. I'll look it up for you right now. AJ. It's probably like a Anthony John. Yeah, I was gonna say like <laughs> Anthony John or something. Aaron James. Aaron James. That's that's not right. Yeah, like AJ Brown is Arthur Juan. What's up, Chad? I thought you weren't going to be speaking to me at all today, Chad. I was already ready for this. We can speak for 33 minutes. All right. Let's speak not about the game then, right? <laughs> I'm on Washington. Plus Honestly, it's kind of... Plus it's kind of... It's kind of... It's kind of... Under 65. That's kind of fucked up though, right? I mean, I agree. I, if I was a Husky fan, I'd be... Just I'd be mad. Line. Yeah, I'd be very disrespected. Well, I mean, the fact that they're giving nine and a half, ten points is ridiculous, dude. It feels like a lot. It just seems like too much. It's like they're trapping you. The total sixty-five. Chad, I, I would do the same, bro. I mean, ten points is a lot. I don't, I don't expect any of us to win by more than like three or four. Unless someone does blow out somebody else, but I don't really think so. 
But no, it's a little fishy. <coughs> I will say though, Chad, the freaking tailgating uh, little area right next to Luxor and the Mandalay Bay like area looks awesome. You know, because you can just walk across the bridge. I know, man. You couldn't make it out after all? How long is the flight from up there? It's probably, what, two and a half hours? Three hours, probably? Three and a half? I'm wondering, though... The Rose Bowl is actually one of the college football playoff games, right? I wonder if, like, whoever wins this matchup, would one of them get paired into the Rose Bowl game? It'd be freaking awesome. If, like, my Ducks somehow actually did win this game and they went to the Rose Bowl, I'm definitely going to that game. All right, here we go, guys. Nice, there's a rated rookie preview. Aiden O'Connell. 48 out of 50. <coughs> nice. So that's what it would be, right? It'd be something like a traditional kind of deal. It'd be fucking awesome. But there's no... It, the Rose Bowl's not representing a specific seed, is it? Like, it's not representing 1, 4, 2, 3? Jackson Smith, the Jigba. Passing the torch. How about Michael Irving and a uh, CD Lamb? Ooh, interesting. So yeah, if U Dub wins, they they'll probably be definitely two or three with Michigan. So that makes sense. But if Oregon were to win, I don't think they're at three at all. So they'd probably be playing somewhere else then. I assume. Because I mean, I don't know. It's I don't know. If Alabama wins, there's gonna be so much chaos. I expect Ellis. I expect FSU to get bounced out. If, I mean, I hope they lose this weekend, to be honest. But <laughs> yeah, then at that point, it's it's it's, it's so much chaos. This is exactly a perfect example of why next year's college football format would work out so much better this year, right? We wouldn't even have to worry so much, if, if anything, this weekend. Taysom Hill. Out of 25. That's right, baby Todd. Uh, Chad Chad's Huskies are going up against uh, the Oregon Ducks. I say that because Chad was an actual Husky. I'm a pretend duck. I didn't go to school there. Jameer Gibbs. But I have been rooting for against Dennis Dixon, so I mean, it's fine. Just like not come. Good luck to your team. Yeah, we had to reschedule. Mm -hmm. Got a, there were some car issues and then you couldn't make it down. Christian Gonzalez. All right, see you. I mean, honestly, college wasn't my thing. I had decided that pretty early in school. <laughs> so I mean, I, I'm not saying I'm dumb. I could have definitely went to college, but 
I would have went to Oregon if I had a chance, for sure. Trent McDuffie. I mean, if, if I... My, if I would have got a little help, like, financially to go to school, like, and go to Oregon, I definitely would have went. But I got to live my college experience through my wife, though. So that's okay. <laughs> I was basically, like, with, with her on her whole journey, so it's all good. I guess there I was a, uh, what were they, LMU's uh, Lions? I think they were Lions. Just went to LMU. No, 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 I'm just saying, like, I just feel like a lot of people just be like, oh, you didn't go to college? Damn, sucks, you know? But I, I just truly just didn't, I just didn't want to go. I made the decision. I, like my dad always said, you know, if you're going to go to school, go to school. But like really do it, you know, obviously because financially growing up, you didn't have a lot of money. So obviously, you know, don't want to waste money, right? Money's everything. But uh, so if not, you're just going to go to, you're going to work a full-time job. So that's what I chose. But I do kind of regret not going in the sense, not to say I can't ever go again, but. You know, just kind of go experience it, I guess. But see, I, I would have really had to, like, get it done, though, you know? Because I would have felt so terrible getting all the help financially and just not getting it done, you know? Yeah, Todd, but honestly, it's kind of a joke, man. They expect you to financially be able to afford this with a certain amount of income that's, like, unrealistic, you know? Definitely was aid and help, but I mean, it's not like a full ride or anything like that. It's like, oh, you make this much? Oh, you can afford this. You can afford that. <laughs> it's like, what? Trey Tucker. And that was another thing, too. I just didn't want to, I, I, I just didn't want to waste any like money for my parents' money. You know? Devontae Adams, Austin Hooper, Tariq Woolen, no name. For sure, Chad. Go Ducks, baby. Love like this before. Uh, no. <laughs> Unfortunately, Chad, I wish. I mean, they did have stickers that they use for them like in those early early chronicles collegiate products but yeah not anymore i don't think so at least unless they're saving some of their stickers for like certain products which i don't know if, if they acquired those stickers or if they like um if they were proven that they got them before the whole uh, exclusive i don't know if they can still use them or they're just saving them for certain products because i know they got stickers of all those guys but Again, I don't know if, if legally they can use them or they're just holding out for the right products to use the stickers. You know. Quarterback wise, yeah. I mean, you still got Bijan, you still got Zay Flowers, you know, all those other rookies that are performing, but quarterback wise. Uh, no Will Levis, no CJ, no Bryce Young. And I think the one that hurts the most right now is CJ because, you know, obviously Anthony Richardson out for the season doesn't help. If he was in season and playing, imagine if he actually wasn't injured and he was balling as well as CJ, you know? Damn, that would have been a crazy class. It still can be down the line, but... But yeah, really because Richardson's the only one that can sign... Quarterback wise, I mean, you also still have like, I mean, still have like Aiden O'Connell and all the guys <laughs> that are actually playing, but it's just not, not the top picks. 
Yeah, no. Well, that, that's why I think that's why I, uh, I feel like Donruss sold pretty well, really fast, because you get the chances now to finally get a grid irons and Don and downtowns in a product like this. Obviously, you get a chance to get like rated rookies, right? There's gonna be rated rookie previews in this and and all that stuff, so it makes sense, you know. So I, I think it'll be fine. Walker, where are you watching the game at, Chad? Are you going to you just watch it at home, or you, is there any like alumni things that you guys usually go to? Ooh, nice Will Love is red. Ooh, wow! How about a Luke Keekley? Man, Luke Keekley is pretty nice. Twenty-three out of ninety-nine. Nice. Jimmy gonna be there? Tell your buddies to get into some breaks after. Jimmy with his kids. <laughs> well, I'm sure I'll be watching. Good luck, man. At the end of the day, obviously, <laughs> we'll be fine. But one of us probably won't want to speak to each other for a little bit. But may the best team win, man. Like I said, I, I can't remember the last time a, a big game like this has just had so much implications. Come on, bro. Bryce Young. Miles Sanders, B. John Robinson, Jerry Sneed. To 50. Allen. What up, Rex? Alright, next box, guys. Jameer gives. Here's an optic preview. Keanu Benton. Keanu Benton. I'll put a poll up right now, Chad. And we'll see what the people say. Who's gonna win? Saquon. Let's see. I mean, I don't, I didn't put the spread, but I, I don't, I don't really, I don't, you know, I don't care, like, do you really care for the spread in this? Like, I, I, I feel like we're both evenly matched. I don't, I, I would do money line on everything. I wouldn't care. I mean, yes, it'd be the disadvantage for me to say that as an Oregon fan, but. 
or an advantage, but I just think it's a joke that they're giving you guys nine and a half. I wouldn't have called it that bad. But I'm just going straight up, though. I mean, with no spread. Who wins? I mean, I just think it's a joke. I just feel like they're kind of trapping people in Vegas. It's like they really want you to take Washington. CD Lamb. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I, I personally see this game being down to the wire like it was last time. You know, I really do. But at the same time, it's like, I just hate that they gave you guys nine and a half because you guys can use that as even more motivation. And, you know, I hope Oregon doesn't think like, oh, yeah, everybody knows we're going to win, you know. So, yeah, that's right. You know? I just feel like the college football, I just feel like these betters and, and, and that just have looked at the common opponents the last X amount of weeks, seen how close the first game was, could have won either way. And they just feel like they are much better than them right now. But that doesn't mean that you guys aren't going to come out and still punches in the mouth. Right? I mean, that's my thing. Common opponents-wise and everything, yes, I think we have been better since we've lost you guys. But at the end of the day, it doesn't change the fact, though, that you guys still beat us. And our only loss is against you guys. So, it's like the eye test, right? But yeah, I think you can agree to that too, even if you don't want to, chat, right? I mean, look at all the common opponents we've faced since playing you guys, and you guys played, uh, and we played them. Just destroyed them, right? I mean, let's be honest. You guys had a lot of, a couple really, really close games where, like, Oregon handled those teams. But, again, it doesn't still change the fact, though. We can still lose to you guys today, and it doesn't make it mean anything. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's what, that's what you're going to use. But you know, deep down, Oregon has played much better since that game. But at the end of the day, whoever wins this game is the one. This one matters the most, right? Who cares a shit about the first game, though? James Cook. If Oregon, if Oregon wins this game, I don't care about them losing the first game. Because that puts us in, you know? But what I'm trying to just prove is that that's probably what all these betting sites is going by. I mean, just Oregon has looked better. That's all it is. Jordan Addison. Marquez Valdez Scantling. CD Lamb. Jonathan Mingo. Jake Ferguson had a great game yesterday. Highlights there for the Cowboys. Yeah, I mean, well, I think you have to have that mentality for Oregon because if you lose every game, I mean, every game is, that's it, you're out, right? I mean, you lose one game, it's over. That's the mentality, right? I mean... Rex is not really a big football fan, but I think he'll root for anybody that's nearby where he's at, which will probably be in Michigan. You know, Indianapolis, Chicago type of deal. Jaron Hall. TJ Hawkinson. JJ. Rasheed Rice. Dante Culpepper and Hassan Haskins. Devon Achan. Hey, but Chad, do you, uh, did you see that? Did you see that clip? Do you think Penix is dealing with like some type of rib injury? All right. So there it is, right there. There's the three autos. 
and the three relics. True. I remember he got hit against Oregon, but that was a while ago now. But I mean, all the games that you guys have played with Washington, with uh, Wazoo, with uh, USC, Utah, they've all been physical, anyways, I guess. Yeah, Rex, that's the same thing for me. I was about to say that, Chad, actually. Same thing for my wife. I mean, my wife doesn't really care for sports as much, but she, if anything, has fallen in love with it and watch, watching it more because of me anyways. But she gets way more emotional than I do. Like, I've learned to, like, know that obviously can't win everything. You know, if, if you're going to lose and just got to accept it and, you know, just move on. But she, on the other hand, just gets too emotional I see her pacing around. She's freaking. She's like on the side of the bed sometimes, like looking, but not looking at certain things, you know? <laughs> I'm just like, man, dude, you're worse than I am. I, I, I used to get upset when I was a lot younger. I, it used to really emotionally hit me really hard, but. Now I was older, man, I got a lot more real shit to worry about. So, like, although it brings me so much happiness and joy, it still hurts, but. I feel like I let go of that hurt a lot faster though. Nowadays. But I think it is fun. I, I, my, my favorite person to go to football games with is my wife. I, I, I always enjoy it. win have fun and uh we can talk about it after if, if one of us is still feeling up to it if it's me i'll definitely be up to talking to it <laughs> but yeah good luck man talk soon Also, RIP to your wife if they do lose. Because she's going to have to deal with you. Oh, I haven't even seen. How many people have voted so far? Seven votes? Seven votes so far? Man. Yeah, next week. <laughs> At least he's trying, right? <laughs> <laughs> 
Dun 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 It's like, it reminds me of that one scene in, in uh, Step Brothers when uh, Brennan's trying to be involved, or not Brennan, Dale's trying to be involved in the uh, conversation with his older brother, De or with uh, Brennan's older brother Derek, when they first meet him. And then, you know, he's talking about his story, his, his, uh, Derek's talking about his, uh, part of the conversation where, you know, he went down to the, to the Bermuda Triangle and then, uh, and hit like a, a trophy fish, whatever he goes, are trophy fish big? <laughs> he's like trying to get involved in the conversation. He's like, Dale, God damn it, Dale, don't speak when the man's talking. He's like, uh, they call that a trophy fish? So, yeah, they're pretty big. <laughs> Like, what's this guy's deal? Sky Moore. You know, speaking of, like, that movie, you know, I've heard talking about, like, com uh, comedians, like, there's a lot of great Will Ferrell movies out there. I feel like behind, like, Adam Sandler, you know, with SNL, I mean, Will Ferrell has had a very, very successful career, right? I mean, he has, like, instant classics out there. Kirk Cousins out of 500. Oh, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Dude, honestly, that that movie has so many funny parts, but the one I like the most is when, when, <laughs> when they're uh, having to try to stop their brother from selling the house, and, like, he has to bring over clients to see the house, and, uh, you know, they have to... Fake like one of them's dead, the asbestos is still in the house, and then the other one has to fake like they're like racist and stuff like that. <laughs> like he's mowing the lawn and he's cutting the trims out there with like his uh his costumes on. You guys need any fertilizer, we have a lot of it. <laughs> is this your second case No bro, I haven't even this I'm barely gonna do break three next. I have to do like six still into the it's taking about like 30 45 minutes. Damn, it's taking forever. Yeah, you flying through or what? Nah, <laughs> uh, it's like around 35 minutes or so. Tank Dell. DTR. We have you guys on three already over there? Four? Uh, we've done three. Four is getting there. Ah. Dalton Kincaid. Mozzie. Oh, yeah, for sure. Exactly, right? No, yeah. He's like a perfect counter for that. Who you got today, Michael? Huskies or Ducks? Straight up, no no point spread because Washington's are giving nine and a half, which I don't think is nine fair. Nine and a half? That's not even fair, bro. Um, it's not. like Vegas wants you to take them. I don't know anything about coach football. Okay, Oregon is the, the only loss to Washington other than the year. Know. In Washington by three. Uh, That's it. So you got to know. I'll root for Oregon just for you. All right, but thanks. <sighs> nah, it's going to be close. Nine and a half is a spread? Yeah, dude. I would take that all day. <laughs> it feels like a trap. It is. That's what I'm telling you. Like, it's like, why are they... I mean, I get it. If they're if they're recently looking at the last, like, six, seven weeks since they played and looking at common opponents, Oregon has been blowing them out compared to Washington's been barely staying alive. Uh, Devontae Smith to turn that in, but Washington is still freaking good. Yeah, like, I was just watching the other day. I was watching uh, with my... With my niece... My, uh, Vanessa's got to and we're watching Kicking and Screaming. Like, bro, what a perfect movie. I love that movie. I, uh, I never played soccer. <laughs> Dude, I, I, know, I did play soccer organized once. It was fun. Yeah, I, but I sucked, though. Like, I just, I was not good. But because of the movie, it was so funny. I never played soccer. I, I hated soccer. And my friend and his dad were like, 
watch this movie with us, and then you're going to want to sign up for AYSO. <laughs> I watched the movie, signed up for AYSO. Yeah, dude, it's so good. And then I never played soccer. I played one game, and he said, the pizza's coming here. We're going to eat Beyond Sun. <laughs> of course, Andy. There's plenty of time, man. I'll stay late if it, that's the case. Hell yeah, man. We're live to 11 p.m. Pacific, so 2 a.m. Eastern. Now, obviously, the, the bulk of our breaks today are going to be this Donruss just because they're like 30, 40-minute breaks. But don't worry, buddy. If it gets close and it sells out, I'll break it tonight, man. Dude, do not need to worry. So grab your spots. Don't hesitate. You know? Anything on the website, we'll stay late and break it if that's the case. Zach Harrison, Raider Rookie Preview Autograph for the Falcons. Jalen Carter, Jared Goff. But yeah, all it just needs to sell though, obviously, you know. We, we go by whatever sells out, so if it sells out, it breaks for sure. And yeah, that museum is down to six left in the R&B, guys. I mean, we just we just got to sell out that R&B for museum if you guys want to do that. Two boxes left here. <clears throat> Dalton Kincaid. T-Law, a little foil to 199. And a little Derrick Henry, nice patch there, 100. Jalen Hurts. <laughs> yeah. My my favorite scene from the Anchorman is always gonna be the freaking the Cologne one with Paul Rudd. That's that's just always gonna be my favorite one. Josh Downs. And a Hunter Renfro. Keyshawn Boots. To 25. And gives. Bryce Young. I have not hit a case hit yet. No, yeah, I have not. So if it doesn't line in these next two boxes, then it could be hiding in the last six boxes. Josh Allen, Jose Flowers. Dijon, James Conner, Trey Greenlaw, no name. Sauce. Amonra. Marvin Mims. Sam Williams. Birdie. Great 
Nick Chubb, Michael Wilson, Tua Tagovailoa. All right, so this one here, we got that Derrick Henry and then the boots. Alrighty guys, last box here. Jalen Petri. Yeah, I'm hearing the I'm hearing that Juan Soto is like for sure gonna get traded now. Joe Coleco, Dwayne McBride, DTR. Devontae hey Adams. Party. Josh Downs. Well, you know what? I just think, you know what? I just feel like they think that they're, they're okay with rolling with Tatis and... And, you know, uh, Machado and what they have and maybe get some other pieces in the return. But, yeah, I mean, I think if you're going to trade anybody, Soto's the most... Soto's probably the one that you probably want to so you can get back some pieces and prospects potentially. I mean, you know, sometimes you make mistakes, right? But at least, you know, Soto's still obviously one of the top free agents or would be top free agent, top trade. So, I mean, at the end of the day, they're going to get back really good for him. But, you know, they, they wanted to try it and it just didn't work out probably for them. I don't think they want to trade Tatis, you know. He's their franchise, and I'm sure Machado, I mean, he's not going to go anywhere either, so. Richardson, and whoa, unleashed. Is that a case hit? I think that might be a case hit. Tony Pollard. Clean tune. And Nick Bolton to one hundred champs of here. Herbert to three ninety nine. Nick Chubb, Will Levis, Marvin Mims, and a redemption. Well, I think Rex, I don't know if they want to pay him all that money. Well, yeah, that's, we don't know what we don't know what the the 
Padres want for Soto if they trade him to the Yankees, and we don't know what the Yankees are going to offer. But, yeah, I mean, yeah, I think if Soto were to go to, like, a Yankees team, of course, he's going to a big market city, big market team. All right, so rookie Green Iron Kings autographs, card number six, Jameer Gibbs for the Detroit Lions, going to Chris Parent. But yeah, I don't know. I just think the Padres had a terrible season, and I just don't think Juan Soto really helped as much as they probably thought he, they would. Like I said, hey, they tried it. They can get something back for him. They don't want to pay him all that money, and maybe he doesn't even want to sign there either. I don't know. So, maybe it works out for both of them. Alrighty, guys. So, there you go. So, we did get an Unleashed. I don't know if downtowns are in every case, or is it just one or the other, but we did get an Unleashed there. There's the hits there, and we were not cheated to hit here, so we got everything there. Last six boxes are for number uh, three, and I think we were down to one left the last time I checked, so let's get that last team sold out. Jaspiescasebreaks.com.